Ciao football lovers of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, I hope you're all doing well. Champions League is back and usually the second legs are even more entertaining than the first leg. If we know already the level of fantastic football played in the first leg, well this evening we can potentially go towards an epic night of football. Barcelona against Paris Saint-Germain. Dortmund against Atletico Madrid. Will it be a full Spanish first semi-final? Well, we will discover it here on the channel. Live reaction of Barcelona against Paris Saint-Germain. Waiting for maybe Mbappé and friends with a remontada. Put the notification ring on. Don't miss it. But before speaking about Champions League, let's first go through what happened yesterday. Because we have a lot of things to speak about. The night of Cole Palmer. Yes, it was Monday night. Yes, we played football. Yes, he scored four goals. But also probably the worst ever penalty taken in the history of football with Osasuna at the 97th minute. Budimir, what a disaster. And also, transfer market is open. Usually, we wait until the 1st of July. Well, this time, we anticipated everyone in Serie A because Felipe Anderson decided to dribble and to fool the entire Serie A, especially Juventini, instead of going from Lazio to Juve, decided to go back in Brazil to Palmeira. So a lot of things to say, maximum of like. If you didn't yet, please continue to subscribe, to support the channel by liking, by commenting, by subscribing, to make this channel bigger and bigger and bigger. We start now with a 6-0 fantastic performance of Chelsea yesterday against Everton. Chelsea played great. That goal of Jackson was just beautiful. A control, turning himself and boom into the goal. Beautiful game. One after the other were really beautiful way of playing from Chelsea. Fantastic, beautiful. Congratulations. But of course, there is one man that did better than everyone. Cole Palmer. Perfect hat-trick. Left, right and header. And he needed only 29 minutes. The fastest ever hat-trick in the history of Premier League. He's also the second ever Chelsea player to score back-to-back hat-tricks in Chelsea, in Stamford Bridge. It's fantastic. It's beautiful. The guy's only 21 years old. First season with Chelsea and he's going with record on record on record. Yesterday, five times he went on target, four times were goals. Yes, because he didn't stop at the perfect hat-trick. He even added another one, a fourth one. A controversial penalty. We will come back on that in a second. The last time that a Blues player was able to score four goals in one game was in 2010. We have to go back to Lampard. Eh? 14 years we had to wait to see another Chelsea player scoring four goals. And of course, the papers today are speaking about Cole Palmer and putting him there in front. Beautiful, big, big titles. Colden Boot. Why Colden Boot? Because with yesterday, four goals, he's reaching Erling Haaland and actually doing even better with more assists in Premier League. What a season. What a season for the transfer from this summer from Manchester City for 47 million euro to Chelsea. A lot of people were discussing, we're saying probably it's too much money. What is Chelsea doing when if they did one thing right, it's this guy. And everyone was yesterday extremely, extremely crazy about that four goals, about that performance of the young kid, especially one that couldn't believe it. It was Declan Rice that went on Instagram to congratulate Cole with a beautiful message. Unbelievable, bro. Of course, unbelievable. Nobody could believe what they were seeing yesterday. And it's not over eh? because this weekend, FA Cup, Manchester City against Chelsea for a cup game where everything can happen coming for you pep <laughs> that's the title and it's a correct one because he will be back he will be back in manchester where unfortunately there was no space for him unfortunately they decided to sell their youth academy product he's at chelsea and he wants to take revenge will he be able to do it <laughs> big game chelsea is doing well not only cole palmer recently because they go with a eight games unbeaten which didn't happen since 2021 or at least they were not able to do better than eight games unbeaten in premier league since 2021 so they are doing better it's a young team eh? but Tino, you like, you don't like, he's keeping repeating it. We have a young team, we need to grow, we need experienced player probably as a strategy in the transfer market next season. They need to grow, but this team has really potential. And I can guarantee you that Chelsea, they are there in the middle of the table. Last year, disaster. This year, we can call it still a disaster, but I start seeing really a team that is growing and that has really potential in the coming years if they start to address the main problems. Because one of the biggest problems of Chelsea is not really the goals. It's not really being unbeaten. It, it's what happened yesterday on that fourth 
possible goal of Cole Palmer. They were already smashing Everton. Everything was already decided. There is a penalty to be taken. Usually it is Cole Palmer that is taking the penalties at Chelsea, at least when he's on the field. Yesterday, Bagar, they were there talking, pushing each other. Who is taking the penalty? Jackson and the other one. What are we doing? Who is taking the penalty? It was not looking like a team, especially not a winning team. And these are the problems that needs to be addressed as soon as possible. As long as you are not able to address these problems, unity all together towards one target, they will never grow. They will never grow. And yesterday Pochettino was pissed off in the press conference post game. Of course he was. He said that discipline is the most important thing in our team and the offensive players need to show that they are hungry to score goals but this type of situation they are absolutely unacceptable and I will be extremely strong this I promise it will never happen again next time they are all out it's not a joke so he's promising he's putting a face on it it's impossible after the performance like this that we saw these kinds of behavior we have to learn from it a lot and we want to be a great team I told you these are the things that need to be cancelled. Because if you are looking at the ranking, there are nine, potentially eight with one game in hand. They can go over West Ham. But it's not where Chelsea should be after all the money they spent on the transfer market. And probably when we see the position of Manchester United with their seventh position in Premier League, it's probably one of the problems that they also had since recent years. Not the quality of the players, because the quality is there. Probably problems with the coach or... But the main problem is probably some behavior from a lot of players. We all know what happened in the past. But this isn't, again, a problem with Garnacho that on Twitter, he went there to like some controversial tweets that were speaking bad about Ten Hag. Things that you are not doing as a professional. You can dislike a coach. You cannot appreciate being subbed out. You can do whatever you want to, but publicly you need really to pay attention. They talk about it, they fixed it, but how many times do we hear this kind of story? Rashford, etc, etc. We spoke about it, we fixed it, and then it's another problem, and then it's another problem. This is not what a big team like Manchester United or like Chelsea needs to think about. The first thing, perfection behavior, perfect behavior, and then you can go through to the next topics. Then you can think about the field. Like Jurgen Klopp is probably now thinking about the field, the season, where he was running for every single competition, losing at home last week and getting Crystal Bass put them in difficulty. They are in difficulty. They won, yes, the Carabao Cup, but at the moment, it, that's it. They are second in Premier League, equal to Arsenal. They are losing 3-0 against Atalanta in Europa League. Well, save our season. This is what yesterday Jurgen Klopp was asking. Other news from Premier League? Yeah. League church from Tottenham for 24-25. And it reminds me a bit of the evolution of this pen. This big, if you are familiar. It's always the same. It's always the same. It's always the same. Anyway, Champions League is back this evening. I already told you. Let's start with Barcelona, Paris Saint-Germain. That can only be great and fantastic. To donate, give everything is the title on the French paper L'Equipe. Give everything with all the players. Marquinhos, Dembele, Donnarumma. Well, to donate, don't give everything Donnarumma. That's only a tip that I would tell to the Italian goalkeeper that often is giving too much to the opponent teams. Not him, but the other ones, they need to give everything, especially Mbappé. Ligue des Champions, PSG, n'ayez aucun regret. No regrets, go all in so that you don't have regrets after the game if you are eliminated. But the big problem in France at the moment is Mbappé, the captain of Paris Saint-Germain, their most important iconic player, where yesterday Jérôme Rotten, ex-big player from France, ex-player from Paris Saint-Germain, is saying if Mbappé is doing again the disaster performance that he did against Barcelona in that first leg, I will start thinking that he has never been a great player of Paris Saint-Germain in the history of Paris Saint-Germain. For what reason? Because that would have mean, meant that he all took us for full during his entire stay at Paris Saint-Germain. <sighs> will the career and the legendary status of Mbappé depend on this evening? Well... According to Jérôme Rotten, yes, let me know what you think about Mbappé. If he flops today, is it over for his legendary state of, uh, at PSG, even if being the 
player with the most ever score goals? Let me know in the comment. Forza Barça, of course. Simple title but impactful from sports Spanish paper. Forza Barça, let's go Barça. And then you have another game, of course. Dortmund against Atletico Madrid and on Marca. They are saying today, potentially, possibly, we could already have one Spanish team in the final of Champions League. Because if Atletico Madrid and Barcelona, they go through, they will play against each other in the semi-final, which means one of the Spanish teams will one of the teams will be Spanish in the final against who? Real Madrid, maybe a full Spanish final against Manchester City, against Arsenal, against Bayern Munich. Well, it depends of a lot. Of course, it depends of a lot. And Modric is already starting to be polemical, controversial. Well, actually not the 2024 Modric, the one of a few years ago, the one that in front of microphones, when he was playing with the national team, he said, I don't have beautiful memories of the Italian referee Orsato. He is a disaster. Well, Orsato will be there to direct Manchester City against Real Madrid. Yesterday in La Liga there was one game. There was Valencia that was uh, playing at home of Osasuna. Valencia wins 1-0. But the game will always be remembered for one of the worst penalties ever taken by Budemir. The worst thing is at the, it's at the 97th minute. He has a penalty. He has a chance to equalize. Budemir has scored a lot of goals. Is absolutely not to be blamed this season for the beautiful season of Osasuna. He has that penalty. Disaster. Go back and watch it on social media. It's a total disaster. He asked three times sorry to the coach that the coach after the game said, you don't have to apologize. I don't accept your apologize because you don't have to apologize. But anyway, the images were totally viral with Budimir that made it even worse because an instant after that missed penalty he broke three ribs anyway another game will be played tomorrow we'll come back of course but Bayern Munich with uh, one guy that is probably not sleeping and it is Harry Kane after being transferred from Tottenham to Bayern Munich with actually hoping one thing I want to win a trophy and who better than Bayern Munich can give me a trophy because they are winning the Bundesliga every single year. Well, he saw that Leverkusen won it and he's now only hoping in Champions League. That's the only way to win a trophy. Otherwise, it's a total disaster. In Serie A, yesterday, two other games were played. At the moment, if we count also the Udinese Roma game that has been suspended on 10 available games, they did eight draws. Record of Serie A. That is maybe thinking next year to be called Serie, Serie X for the draws, of course. But yesterday, what all the Italian football fans were speaking about was that transfer of Felipe Anderson that was totally sure. Even Tutto Sport, Italian page, was already preparing their first page with Felipe and that's one. We start now with the first signing of the summer for Juventus with Felipe Anderson in huge. Of course, they were absolutely not expecting that at a certain moment Felipe Anderson came out first saying to Lazio, goodbye, I change, I will not remain at Lazio. But then especially not expecting Palmeiras to announce Benvindo, welcome to Felipe Anderson. And before pressing print, they were able last minute to change at first page, speaking about Federico Chiesa, speaking about Canon Yildiz that could potentially end the extent and receive that number 10 at Juventus. In Italy, they are already reworking on the next season. Why? Because they are expecting a lot of changes on the bench. Not only Liverpool, Bayern Munich, Barcelona, but also seven eight, maybe ten teams in Italy will change coach. Napoli is looking for a coach. And on top of the list with already Conte, Italiano and Pioli to be the coach of Napoli. Well, Gasperini, the one that beat Liverpool 3-0, is also now a contender to be there on that list. Look, in Italy, they are speaking every day about coaches. And Pioli, that is second in Serie A, is also risking the big title on Gazzetta dello Sport is Passi o Chiudi. Or you go through or it's over for you. You know it, they are losing 1-0 against Rama, so they have, of course, all the possibilities to go through in Europa League, but or he goes through, or it's over for Pioli with Milan that will also look for another coach. Probably they will not look for changes, for subs, for the players like Theo Hernandez, Rafa Leao, and Mike Mignon. Three players that, of course, entire Europe is looking for. They are ready to invest a lot of money. But yesterday, Furlani, the CEO of Milan, said... 
they are not on the market and the three of them are happy and have a really long contract with Milan. We can even we can even reinforce ourselves next summer without obligation to sell these players. In Bundesliga, Bayern Munich they understood that Xabi Alonso will stay at Leverkusen has been said to them has been public now so they are looking for a sub coach who will be the next one after Tuchel. They are going towards Nagelsmann. It's true. The Mannschaft is looking to extend until the World Cup 2026, but Bayern is really pushing to Nagelsmann. The two other ones that are there also on that list are De Zerbi from Brighton and also Ragnik, ex-Manchester United. These are the coaches possibly on the bench of Bayern Munich. Fabrizio Romano report reported what we said yesterday on the video. If you watch the video, you already know I told you. Real Madrid is waiting. The post Ancelotti has already been decided and it is Xabi Alonso. With yesterday, Fernando Carro, CEO of Leverkusen, that confirmed. He said, it is possible. Of course, I have absolutely no doubt that Xabi Alonso will one day be the coach of Real Madrid. We just don't know when. But Florentino Perez is in love with Xabi since really, really long time. One player that will not leave, it is Florian Wirtz. That was probably also one of the request of Xabi Alonso I want to stay I can stay and I will stay but there's one player that you can't touch that needs to stay next year to try to do something beautiful in Champions League and it is Florian Wirtz that will stay one more year and uh, they were also saying one day he could possibly win the Ballon d'Or and you know what it's not even a crazy statement it is not even a crazy statement yes he can yes the, the fantastic player that he is. Look, there are some fantastic, beautiful players recently. Eh? Wirtz, Cole Palmer, that is doing fantastically well. The one that I really like, Foden from Manchester City. Uh, Yama, blah, there are so many great players. The new generation is there. And we will probably see a few of them this evening. So we see each other on the live reaction of Barcelona Paris Saint-Germain here on the channel later this evening. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Giuseppe and to get recovered football.